Those who grow live and die. The stagnant pool is immortal, while the clear flowing river dies an uncountable number of deaths. These are the words of a man in the Avatar world named Lao Ga. He appears in the Rise of Kyoshi and Shadow of Kyoshi novels, and it is one of our best looks into how certain individuals in the Avatar world are able to live incredibly long lives. In this video, we're going to be discussing immortality and the ability for people in the world of Avatar to live lives longer than any human in our world possibly can. Avatar Kyoshi herself lived to be over 200 years old. There's a lot of mysteries in the world of Avatar, and I hope that in the next couple months we can discuss some of them here on the channel, with Avatar becoming more relevant now more than ever with the rise of Avatar Studios. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. For fans of the Avatar series, it's no secret that a lot of people live incredibly long lives. We also have spirits and we have creatures like the lion turtles which have lived for thousands of years and spirits live essentially forever, even, if they, even though they can give up their immortality and join the human world. But there are certain individuals in the Avatar world which seem to have an unnatural or maybe super hypernatural ability to live an incredibly long amount of time. Now, if you have not read the Rise of Kyoshi or Shadow of Kyoshi novels, which are canon novels written by F.C. Yi in consultation with Mike and Brian, the creators of Avatar, it chronicles Avatar Kyoshi's early goings on in the world, and we get to meet a character in that book that lives a very long time. So spoilers ahead if you've not read those books. I would highly recommend them. They're probably the second best piece of canon Avatar franchise content behind the original show. It's that good. But they introduce us to a character named Lao Ga. And throughout the first book, we learn that through a special spiritual meditation technique, this earthbender has been able to live an incredibly long time. Now, it's speculated in the book as to how long he actually lives. Uh, Kiyoshi and him have a conversation where he surmises that he's over 400 years old. He's an assassin. He goes and he kills bad political leaders in the Earth Kingdom and carries it out silently. Does it under the guise, under the nose of everybody. And he's able to live incredibly long through a technique where in which he essentially breaks down certain pieces of his body and replaces them with the same. He talks about how aging is just your body slowly dying. So if you're able to keep those parts of your body alive and keep them rejuvenated, you can essentially pick a point in your life that you want to live as, and you can live as that forever. And how do you end that? Well, you end doing that practice. You can almost choose when to end your life through this practice of going about this spiritual technique or not. Now I say it's surmised that he's 400 years old because he mentions being the spiritual brother to a guru. A guru who we get to meet in the uh, Legend of Korra series, Guru Lahima, who is an airbender. Uh, if you haven't read or if you haven't watched The Legend of Korra, I would highly recommend that show as well. We learn about some ancient philosophers of the Air Nation who lived thousands of years ago, and Lahima lived over 4,000 years ago. So if Guru, if Guru Lahima lived over 4,000 years ago, and we have Lao Ga who said that he learned from these gurus, then Lao Ga is over 4,000 years old. He's practically immortal. Now I understand that 4,000 years is not immortality, but we have seen immortality and the idea of an incredibly long period of living a couple times in the Avatar world. In a video game for The Legend of Korra, she faces a villain called Hundun, who is a reincarnated spirit, and he has lived for thousands of years, and he's looking to deal with the Avatar in a way that one of his past, in a past life, he had to deal with. We also know that Avatar Kyoshi learned the methods of Lao Ga. Avatar Kyoshi lived for over 200 years. She lived to be over 230, as a matter of fact. Now, we don't know why she eventually chose to end her life or why she decided to give up on this practice of holding yourself in a certain, a certain age, 
uh, for lack of a better term. But we know that she was able to learn this technique from Lauga and apply it to her own life because she's one of the longest living avatars in history. Certainly the longest living avatar that we know of. And it's an interesting question because most of these long living people are earthbenders. Could it be that there's something special about being an earthbender that gives you the ability to live that old? Because we've seen it in other earthbenders. King Boomy is at least 112. And in the comics up to this point, King Boomy has not died, so he is still alive in the comic books. We don't know how long he lives for. We don't know if he's using this special technique, or if he's just an incredibly fit person. We don't know if bending gives you the ability to live longer, even though that would seem not true, because Guru Patik is also an incredibly old human in the Avatar world who was alive when Monkey Yatso was alive. Immortality is a thing in Avatar, and immortality is something that we see on full display in the Kyoshi novels. And it's very interesting to think about, benders and non-benders are both able to achieve this old state, but having to divide the two is very interesting because we've seen benders live for an incredibly long period of time. We've seen non-benders live long, but the question remains, is it just that humans have longer lifespans in the Avatar world because that's kind of the fan consensus, that people just have the ability to live longer in this world. The human lifespan is a lot longer. We see characters like Paku, who's in his 80s, who is still incredibly, an incredibly skilled physical human. His bending is off the charts, as we see in season one of Avatar The Last Airbender. And he's, he's just as old as Grand Grand is. And if you guys remember Grand Grand from the first show, she's not exactly, um, She's not exactly light on her feet like she might have been when she was younger. She's, she's an old woman. So immortality is something that exists, and immortality is something that we have a lot of questions about. Could Lao Ga live basically forever if he chose to? Is Lao Ga still alive in the Avatar world? We don't know. Lao Ga doesn't die in Rise of Kyoshi or Shadow of Kyoshi. He is still alive. He is, he is, could still be around in the time of Avatar Kyoshi. Now, Lauga also has some other nicknames. Taigua the Immortal, Taigua the Assassin, Immortal Taigua are some of his other names. He's an earthbender, and he has killed countless political officials in the Earth Kingdom, which is full of some corrupt men. So this is just an incredibly interesting piece of the Avatar world, and it's something that I don't know if it'll ever be explored again, but it's something that we get explored quite a bit in the Kyoshi novels. I think with Lao Ga and the idea of living a long time, it's also interesting to describe his physical appearance. Now, in the book, Lao Ga is described as an old man with- also, this is from the Avatar Wiki, which is a great resource and it'll be linked down in the description. He is described as an old man with a wispy white beard. Uh, he wears ragged clothes that conceals sheaves of corded muscle under papery skin. His very long white hair, weary arms, and bony fingers. He's a skinny guy. We've seen a variety of individuals who are much uh, skinnier in make live a long time. Guru Patik is another example. He's a very skinny man. He has a long beard. We, it's a very similar description to Lao Ga. But then again, we've seen people like Kyoshi who are very large, very large people. Bumi, another very large man who it's very obvious that a physicality doesn't have a ton to do with living a long time, and your general health really doesn't either. Lao Ga describes this entire process as very spiritual, as incredibly personal. It has nothing to do with your physical makeup, your physical fitness. It's something that is almost entirely in your head, and it's something that, theoretically speaking, anybody could do. It's just a matter of, do you have the mental capacity to pull such a thing off? And it's a very fascinating piece of Avatar's history and Avatar's lore that bears a lot of interest. If Lao Ga is 4,000 years old, then there is no telling how long an individual in the Avatar world could live. And there's no telling how long someone could live in this world and witness an incredible amount of history. An avatar could choose to live this long, Kiyoshi did. An individual like a Fire Lord Sozin, who lived a very long time, but it seems as if he falls into the category of just living an old, living to old age, as opposed to being able to live very long because of this technique. This technique seems to have something to do with earthbending, though. That is all very speculative. What do you guys think? What do you think of the idea of immortality in the Avatar world, and do you think it should be explored more, or do you think it should be left more open-ended? 
Also, if you guys want to see more Avatar content on the channel, be sure to let me know and subscribe because I want to do a ton more of this. There's so many different topics, so many different theories I want to discuss about Avatar. And now that we're getting Avatar Studios, pretty soon we're going to have a lot more content to cover. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. I have been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.